You've had a few names, according to Wikipedia. Thank oh, you to yes. whoever did that. <laughs> uh, tell me how you chose initially Rene Rougeau. Uh, most of these names I, I had, I probably had five, six different names. You know, I said, call me what you want, just don't be late for my check, right? You know, um, they're all given to me. So the reason behind that, might have remember the promoter of someone or they're trying to push that gimmick or whatever it is, what role I fit in there. So, but most of these names, um, well, I'm trying to think of the one in um, Portland, Oregon, what I was in, Rocky Ventura. Rocky Ventura. Yeah, I had that name. That you know. one's on your profile. That's on your wiki. Oh, is it? Yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah. Yeah, somebody did better research than I did. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just, uh, it, it, it's a business. It was business, just changing your name. My name was... Um, very plain, you know, so. I don't know about that, but maybe if you're working in the East, you know, it's like if your name out in Alberta is John Smith, people are going to be like, well, it's just John Smith. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you've had two names that stuck with you the, pretty much the entirety of your career. Of course, the one that uh, that followed you for your your higher points is uh, Dan Crawford. Mm -hmm. How'd you get the Dan Crawford name? Uh, I was mentioning before, Rick Martel. You know, actually, he... Um, I started working for him in Montreal and uh, Dino Bravo and himself, Gino Brito, they were the three main promoters. They owned the company and they really liked my wrestling. Yeah, no, and they realized that, that my English, actually, even though I had a really strong accent before, imagine my accent 40 years ago, so, but it was uh, English, you know, I can speak English better than French. So they say, Phil, actually Ricky Martel, I can still remember that, but he goes, get it, find me a name. Give me an English name you want to be called. So anyways, uh, that went by, and I couldn't really think of one in all that couple weeks went by, and then we're going down to Ontario with a big name, and I go, Ricky, I don't really know. I, whatever you feel is good. And uh, he came back, how about Dan Crawford? I said, all right, that was it. <laughs> I had no clue who that was. I thought it looked like some trapper you've seen on the wall or something, you know. <laughs> But, but you know who he is now. Yeah, no, he, he had a really good run from, uh, what, I, I guess, in Alberta back in the 70s and the 80s. He was a pretty famous guy. Well, here, locally. Yeah, he was a West Coaster, yeah. So yeah, I started out in Vancouver and kind of headed towards the prairies from there. Yeah, I heard he's doing very well as a car salesman. He has his own company hey. uh, in Calgary. From, yeah. Did he ever cut you a deal? <laughs> He'll probably ask me for money. <laughs> <laughs>